Okay. What does it say? In the diagram, AB is a straight line. Okay. That they're mentioning this for a purpose. Find the value of X and Y. That's very simple. I want quick answers. Very good, Taha. I would want all of you to tell me what is angle X. Ma'am, you're not able. Ma'am, um, every time I answer, I answer ma'am, I don't think you're able to see my answers. Wait one second. Who is this? Is it the uh, Hassan? Yeah, I'll tell yes, you. Basically, I will tell you one second. Um, let me message you and then just respond to this account, okay? You're probably messaging me on the account that I have opened on my tablet. So I would not be able to look at those messages at this point. Wait. One second. Okay. I've messaged you. I've sent a question mark. Just reply to me now, okay? Or just message me on the account to which I'm speaking. Right? Ma'am, did you get my message? Wait one second. Let me check. No, I got uh, Noor's message, Taha's message, Ariba's message, Rabia's message. I did not get your message. You can message me on WhatsApp as well. That's fine. Directly message me on WhatsApp. Okay, that's also open. So you can directly just message me on WhatsApp. Okay. Achha. Okay. So the fifth question. Okay, find the value of X and Y. That's very simple. All of you can find the value of X, Y. Because the examiner had has mentioned that AB is a straight line. Sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. So it would be very good, Urva. 180 minus 120 and that is going to be 60 degrees well done and what about this y please quickly find this y and tell me very good taha and bipesh and rabia very good yes what about the other students what is y sum of angles in case of a triangle is 180 this x has turned out to be 60 so i know that y degrees plus 60 plus 80 is equal to 180, right? So y is going to be 180 minus 140. And this is going to give me 40 degrees. So y is going to be 40 degrees. Well done, Mois and Nosharwan. Excellent. It's 60 for x and 40 for y. Very good. Okay. All right, now let's talk about some complicated questions because it's fine. We need to face them as well. And it's a three mark question, okay? Acha. And trust me, it's easy. Just relax and just listen to me. A, B, C, D are points on the circle, okay? That is obvious. A, D is parallel to B, C. Now look, they have mentioned that just so you think about two parallel lines being cut by two transversals in this case. Okay, think about those properties. AD is parallel to BC. Okay, the chords AC and BD intersect at X. That is obvious. Find the value of U and find the value of V. Achha, okay. Okay. A is basically 35 degrees, okay? This is the starting point of this angle and this is the ending point of this angle, okay? Yes, that you are right, Taha, very good. This is the arc that is being made by A or by 35 degrees. And if you look at U degrees, U degrees is making the same arc. So whenever same arc is being made, this was a property, this angle, is also going to be 35 degrees, okay? This angle is also going to be 35 degrees. Very good, Bipesh. Well done. Excellent. Okay. That's perfect. Can anyone find V degrees? One second. Let me see. I got one message. Okay. I got Taha and Rabia's reply. Well done. That is certainly correct. Excellent. This, this take two minutes or one minute and think about V degrees, okay? Try finding out alternate angles and then you would be able to find V. Okay. 
वेरी गुड मुई दैट्स करेक्ट यस वेल देन बिपेश ओके वन सेकेंड यस वेरी गुड हसन योर आंसर इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट अच्छा ओके दिस मीन्स दैट वी आर थिंकिंग इन दी राइट डायरेक्शन इफ ए इज थर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज सो इफ यू लुक एट दिस लाइन दिस लाइन एंड दिस लाइन नॉट दिस वन this right here these two lines are parallel ad and bc are parallel and then they are being cut by a transversal okay so this is a transversal ac is a transversal we know that a and c are alternate angles and alternate angles are equal so this is also going to be 35 degrees similarly d and u are again alternate angle so this is also going to be 35 degrees so if you look at axd axd is a triangle sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so v is going to be it's 35 plus 35 plus v equals 180 so v is going to be 180 minus 70 that is 110 degrees This is one ten degrees, and U is thirty five degrees. Okay. This is going to be the answer. Any confusions? Very good, Noor. And what no about the other students? No confusions. Okay. Yes, uh, Rabia and Urva. Okay, okay, okay. Let me explain this again, okay? So let me explain this again. One student has confusion, okay? So we were able to identify that U is thirty-five degrees because same arc was being made. So A and B would be same. That's fine, okay? If you think about this concept, that you have two parallel lines. That these two lines are parallel. They don't look parallel, but I'm telling you they are parallel. They are being cut by a transversal. so this angle and this angle these two angles are alternate angles okay this is your parallel line ad bc is your parallel line they are being cut by bd bd is your transversal so this angle right here and this angle right here they are going to be alternate angles since the two angles are alternate the rule was that alternate angles are equal so this is also going to be Thirty-five degrees. Once you have D, you would know that sum of angles in case of a triangle is one eighty. So thirty-five plus thirty-five plus V equals one eighty, and V turned out to be one ten degrees. Is it okay now? Yes. Were you able to understand this question? Okay, perfect. Okay, very good. Okay, let me see. Okay. we have another part of the same question fgh are points on the circle with center o now they have mentioned center for some reason find the value of p this question is not difficult trust me when i say this this is related to the first property of circle theorem think about it angle at center and angle at circumference and please think about the correct angle okay 210 is not the angle that we were talking about let me just help you with the property once again so this was the idea this was the center and this was basically the angle this angle and this angle okay the angle is being made at the circumference the angle is being made at the center think about it i'm waiting yes well done taha you thinking in the right direction yes i'm just going to wait for another minute think about it and tell me the value of p degrees p degrees is the question
Very good. That is right, Hassan. That's correct. Okay, I I assume that all of you can do this question. I'll give you a few more seconds. Taha, Noshavan, Muiz, Rabia, Nurulain, Hassan, Pepe, Abdullah. All of you can do this. Okay, I've made the helping property right next to you. If this is two x, this is going to be x. Just find two x and then find x. Achha, okay, look at this. Look at this. Okay, this is what I was talking about in the very beginning of this class. That this is how we drew the shape, and this is how it has come. Okay, so you guys need to understand that. Just follow the idea. You want two angles, one at center, one at circumference. Okay, this angle can be found. Using the fact that sum of angles in a circle is three sixty degrees, so if it is two ten, if this is two ten, what would this be? This is going to be three sixty minus two ten. Very good, Taha. And this is going to be one fifty degrees. This is one fifty degrees. So one fifty degrees is the angle at center. What would be the angle at circumference? This is the angle at circumference. Okay, if angle at circle uh, center is two x, angle at circumference is x degrees. Well done, Bipesh. So P is going to be half of one fifty, and that is seventy five. Let me explain this again. Okay, always remember the first property of circle theorem. Had this thing that angle at circumference and angle at center have some sort of relationship, but what angle exactly? We did not consider two ten because this was the angle. Okay, this was the angle. This was not the angle in the theorem. So, first of all, we had to find this angle. That turned out to be one fifty. Next, to see where is the angle at the circumference. This is your circumference. P degrees is being made at circumference, and it is going to be half of one fifty. That is seventy five. So seventy five is the answer. Anyone who was not able to understand anything, any confusions? Okay, very good, Muiz. What about the other students? Uh, Abdullah, Bipesh, Hassan, Nosherwan. No, understood, ma'am. Rabia and Urva. Understood. It's clear now, ma'am. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. Let me stop the recording.